So we're now going to have a look at the anterior ankle and some of the soft tissue structures that lie across this region. Before we start, it's always useful to bear in mind that the ankle joint sits that little bit higher when you're going to palpate it. If you palpate the distal tip of the lateral malleolus and the medial malleolus on this side, it sits that little bit higher across here. So don't be uh, tempted to place your probe on here, you'll be over the midfoot region. It needs to be that little bit higher over the ankle joint itself. If we then think about anatomically some soft tissue landmarks, we know that anteromedially we have a large tendon in this area here, which is your tibialis anterior. If I ask the patient to push up against me here, so we come into dorsiflexion and hold there, you can see this prominent ridge at this point, and this is your tibialis anterior tendon that then runs down medially to attach onto the medial aspect of the midfoot. If we use our ultrasound probe, and we place it onto that medial aspect of the anteromedial aspect, sorry, of the ankle joint, we're immediately going to see a very large tendon structure that looks similar to the Achilles tendon. This is your tibialis anterior in a short axis view, and it's a very useful starting point for looking at the anterior ankle soft tissue structures. If we follow that tendon, we can't come straight down because we know that the course of the tendon is actually to track slightly more medially over into the region of the medial navicular, uh, and then from the, from the navicular coming down to the medial cuneiform and the, and the first metatarsal. So that's how you're going to follow that tibialis anterior tendon more distally. If we bring it back up to the ankle joint level and then come a little bit more laterally, and we'll just get the patient to roll their foot in so that you can see this a bit more clearly uh, on the uh, video. Then we can start to roll our probe slightly more laterally round. And at this point, we can start to see the appearance of the EHL, or the extensor hallucis longus tendon. We can see that very clearly here. Now adjacent to that, we have a dark area here. There's a common pitfall that's identified. Often this is sometimes viewed as fluid. Well, it's not because it's not compressible, but also you can see that as we track more proximally, it actually gets larger and starts to have echo. And that's muscle. So we know that that's the distal part of the muscular tendinous junction of EHL and you can see here it runs all the way in and then just becomes purely tendon here where my cursor is. If we come up you start to see the early muscle fibre come on and you can even come around in long axis actually at that point if you wanted to and see those last few bits of muscle here running onto the tendon of EHL and if we ask the patient just to gently wiggle their toe at that point you'll see it move nicely. If we come back round, we've got Tiban, just get your bearings again, there's EHL. And if we come across from EHL, we've got two interesting structures that you can see beautifully there on this system, deep to that last bit of muscle of EHL. And again, with my cursor, if we look here, this is the deep perineal nerve, and you can see that distinctive honeycomb or pepper pot appearance of a nerve with the little bundles within it, those hypoechoic bundles and lateral to it, not easily missed, but the deep, or the, sorry, the anterior tibial artery, and we can use the Doppler setting just to evaluate that and prove to ourselves that that's got flow and it's a vessel. Always worth bearing in mind that this is the reason why with landmark injections, palpating the tibialis anterior and then coming slightly lateral to it is the preferred technique to try and avoid those two structures, the neurovascular bundle that sits a bit more lateral. At this point, you might want to take a little bit more gel, pop your probe back on, and again, I'll just try and rotate the foot so that you can see this clearly uh, for when you're following this video at home. We can now again find that neurovascular bundle in the center of the image. Again, I use my cursor just to help you identify that. And then you're gonna come round the corner. Now, at this point, you're gonna see a, a tenderness expanse that's quite superficial, and we can see it here across the screen. 
As we then come down more distally, we can see that it's the extensor digitorum because it starts to spread out across at least the width of the probe at this point into individual slips, which we can highlight here very clearly at the top of the screen. You can see how superficial they sit, so it's very, very easy to not pick these up if you're new to interrogating this area. And they then come down into the foot and you can see they start to really spread out into individual slips. If we then come back up, we can come back across and we can find that neurovascular bundle, the EHL and the tibialis anterior tendon to finish with.